scrambled cube, and solving. All right, my name is Jay Flatland. This is my friend Paul Rose. Hi. Um, we've built an extremely fast Rubik's Cube solving robot, and we're in the process right now of applying for an official world record. 1.196. All right, we've, uh, we're turning the cube with stepper motors. Um, they are resting in a 3D printed frame. Um, the stepper motors have little 3D printed feet on the ends of them that fit into carefully drilled holes uh, in each side of the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube can pop out. See, it's a regular Rubik's Cube aside from the holes. Frame comes back together. Okay. And we use uh, four USB webcams uh, to determine the state of the cube uh, very rapidly. Uh, that camera information is fed into a PC application running on Linux. Uh, that application uh, determines the cube state, feeds the cube state into an implementation of the uh, Cosiemba Rubik's Cube solving algorithm which uh, determines a set of moves to solve the cube very rapidly. We have uh, six stepper motor drivers here controlled by uh, an Arduino chip, an Atmel. Um, the Arduino is responsible for controlling uh, highly tuned acceleration deceleration curves to drive the stepper motors. Three, two, one, one point one nine six. All right, I'm going to uh, take out the cube and uh, hand scramble it as we will on, on our competition day. Um, I block one of the cameras so it's not getting any hints as I'm uh, scrambling the cube. Not. Just trust me, I'm not scrambling this in any predetermined sort of way. Okay, load Q back in. The camera's still blocked. Make sure everything's loaded fine. Okay, I will come out here, get ready to arm the machine, and reveal the cube. Ready, three, two, one, go. 1.047 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, go.